Your girl had a nip slip. Let's just put it out there. I had a nip slip. <laughs> What's up, what's good you guys, and welcome to my 2022 updated shower routine. To kick off any shower, I have to start it off with the jams. I literally have one song on the playlist that is on repeat during my whole entire shower. <laughs> and right now that song has been Marcus Houston Cancel. Y'all, I know it's an old song, but I live. And to get everything popping, I start off with my Dove Calming bar soap this bar soap helps to calm the skin with the oatmeal extracts in it and it also smells amazing this bar soap has moisturizers in it so i do not need to use two body washes as i used to use before this bar soap leaves my skin feeling clean but also moisturized and it's non-stripping which is exactly what i need for my dry skin Unlike the rest of the black girl luxury skincare niche here on YouTube, <laughs> I do not use the exfoliating net to wash my body. Y'all know I'm very simple. If it's not broke, I don't fix it. I use a regular washcloth, a wash rag, or just a regular down south southern rag, okay? <laughs> for all of my shower needs, and it just does the job for me. I don't see a problem with using the exfoliating cloth. That just tends to be a harsher step to add to my skincare routine. Now, this particular morning was a shaving morning so I did do that while I was in the shower for my shaving routine I do just use whatever soap I'm using in the shower apply it under my arms and I use my Dollar Tree razors the pink razors to be exact and I just shave my underarms um in my previous shower routine I did use Nair for my underarms which still works for me I just find this to be a little bit quicker and less messy and I don't know at what point this happened but now my underarms are less sensitive to the razor which makes it very comfortable for me to use oh and yeah you guys I am a part of the <laughs> shaving of the arms gang I do shave my arms as well when I take the hair off I take the hair off my arms my legs my back and my stomach um I'm naturally believe it or not very hairy thanks mom and dad <laughs> so when I go in I go in and I'm bald as a baby seal okay After washing off, I do go ahead and go in with an exfoliator. And for my exfoliator, I use my Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. And this is the Crush Macadamia scent. Girl, this smells divine. This does do a great job exfoliating and I find that it is not as harsh. It's a very soft, creamy consistency, which is just what I need for my sensitive skin. Literally anything rough, anything of the sort will tear my skin up as far as hives, scratching dark marks so i have to be very very careful when it comes to exfoliating my body now as far as moisture this body polish does not strip and it does not add it, it's just in the middle <laughs> so any moisture that i have before the body polish is still going to be there after i wash this off so that's a plus I do find it easier to go ahead and wash my face in the shower as well. So to clean my face, I do use the Walgreens Gentle Skin Cleanser. This is the Walgreens version of the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I've tried the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I've tried the Equate Gentle Skin Cleanser from Walmart. All of them are exactly the same. <laughs> I've even tried the one from Target. They're all the same. It just depends on um, how much you want to spend. And it's not harsh. It's not abrasive. It's very gentle on my skin. And yeah. Then lastly for my shower to kind of seal everywhere that I have shaved, I do go in with my Sugar Goddess Beauty, the Goddess Body Oil. This makes my skin super duper smooth and locks in moisture. This is probably my top tip that I have for this entire video for moisturizing your body. I'm gonna apply a lotion and an oil out of the shower, but this right here, 
is honestly all I would need. I use this oil as an in-shower body lotion. Of course, this can be used for any use out of the shower, but this is what I find best works for me. After massaging it into my skin, I do wash it off in the shower, and girl, that is where the magic happens. Once you start to see these little beads bubble up while you are under the water, that lets you know that your body has locked in moisture that lets you know that your body has soaked up all of the goodness and your moisturized to feel don't act like i ain't never gave you no tip honey okay the same things go for a baby oil and a baby oil gel putting that on is like an in shower body lotion and then washing it off even after you pat your body dry or wipe your body dry with your towel out of the shower you will feel so moisturized so plump and so juicy now post shower body care is very simple for me as well. I'm gonna go in first with my eczema therapy by Aveeno and I'm going to mix that with my Palmer's coconut oil body oil now this body oil is very loose it's very watery water based so so it doesn't have a very super long lasting staying power so I mix that with this body lotion so that way I can get maximum moisture now one thing about this body lotion itself it is formulated with colloquial oatmeal and that is very very good for moisturizing the skin and acting as a protective coat for your skin here I also have the equate version of this body lotion which is the same exact thing as the Aveeno version now this the vino bottle is a little bit pricier for a drugstore lotion. I think it's maybe 11 or 12 bucks and they both work just the same. For my deodorant, I just use my Dove Advanced Care Spray Deodorant and this is in the coconut scent. I love to use spray deodorant because I find that stick deodorant or gel deodorants cause me to have ingrown hairs and it breaks me out. So spray deodorant is always the way to go for me. I've already revealed to you guys that Bath & Body Works Dahlia is my favorite scent out of the shower. This scent is actually discontinued as far as the Audi Perfume version. They do have the body spray version of this scent as well, but it definitely does me good as my out of the shower scent. After I'm all moisturized, I do jump into some comfy pajamas. These have been my favorite pajamas as of lately. These are the, I think the soft touch or soft make or some pajamas that I picked up from Target that I have fell absolutely head over heels in love with. I will link them down below. I did speed through a little clip of my skincare routine because I am gonna be doing an in-depth full skincare routine very soon, you guys, I promise. And these pajamas definitely do look worn. Listen, y'all, this is very realistic. I did not buy any pajamas just for the aesthetic of this video this is actually what your girl wears to bed either this or nothing and you know i can't come on the yt in the birthday suit so dingy pajamas it is <laughs> uh, how did your girl do y'all listen i had to really show up in 2022 for my updated shower routine because if y'all know then y'all know my last shower routine video that i did maybe last year year before last year <laughs> your girl had a nip slip let's just put it out there i had a nip slip I really had to like show myself up in this video. I love it. <laughs> this is typically what I do for my shower routine every single night, honestly. I know some creators get on here and say they don't do the routine every night. They just pack the video with a bunch of products and everything. I actually use these things. I don't use a lot of things because my skin is so sensitive. Yeah, what you see is what you get. I don't shave every day. Um, if you guys do shave every day, let me know down below. I shave probably once or twice a month, if twice a month, but I know for a fact I at least shave once. I'm not a wolf girl all through the month, but I wolf it sometimes. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed my shower routine and took something from it, make sure you guys subscribe to your girl's channel down below. Hit that like button, leave your girl a comment, and yeah. As always, I thank every single one of you guys for watching, but until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded! <laughs>